Alright, so you have the game Barnyard for the GameCube. Why? We're not going to ask, but you just own it. Alright? Most people will say, this is a bad game, and they should return it. But, I'm going to show you how you can make the most out of this. So, basically, we're just going to do a bit of a speedrun. So, start up the first chapter here. You can just skip all the cutscenes. They're not important. You can make your own cow. Very, very um, many customization options here. More cutscenes no one cares about. And then these are the controls. You might want to remember them. Nobody really cares about them, though. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to hold down L and Z. And while you're holding down L and Z, you push A, A, X, 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 Y, X. And you get a bunch of gopher tokens. So then you're going to talk to this guy. And you skip past all his dialogues, no one really cares. <laughs> Alright. Now kick this tree and get at least two apples. And then you're gonna run over here and talk to Duke. Skip past all his dialogue. Then you're gonna run over here behind this tree and pick up this rock. And that gives you an apple pie recipe. You come over here, kick all these till you get one thing of flour. And then we're gonna go talk to Pig. He's gonna have a mission for you where you have to cook up a pie. And since we have all the ingredients now, we already found the recipe too. And we can just keep talking to him until he wants us to cook it. Alright, so now you're gonna run over here, jump over the bike, hopefully first try, and go to the kitchen. You're one flour, two apples, cook it up. And then boom, apple pie. Now, whatever you do, don't spam the A button or else you have to load back into the kitchen just to exit back out and go through another loading screen. So, don't do that. Alright, we gotta go back to Pig. Get past all the dialogue. You get all that crap. And you go talk to Pip. Maybe not. Oh, you gotta talk to this cow first. You gotta talk to Ben. Now you go talk to Pip. And he's going to give you the sunglasses, which is one of the most important parts of this game. Easily the best item. So you're going to go from here, you're going to run all over to Otis. Then he's going to teach you how to use the sunglasses and then tell you to squirt six different animals. So, you put them on, and you just go find six different people.
So you gotta make sure you refill using these milk cartons. And hopefully you can actually get one of these pigs. There we go. Once you're done with that, you go back out to Otis. Skip past all this again. And then you go back to Ben. And he's going to have you play a mini game that involves the sunglasses. It's not too bad. You just got to shoot some cans. There are three levels to it. I guess they technically get harder as they go on, but it's nothing hard. And that's the end of that. Alright, and once you're done there, you're going to go back to Pig to play another game. This one involves hitting people into the mud with a steel pipe. Basically, you just spam the hit button until the um, AI is too dumb to jump and just keep repeating that till you win. The key is another important part of getting the most out of this game because it lets you get out of the barnyard. So this one can be this one can take a little while depending on like RNG, but basically just spam cake. And just make sure you don't um, get hit yourself. Pig's the toughest one. I'm doing really badly right now. So yeah, hopefully you don't do as bad as I'm doing right now. So you win that, then you're gonna <clears throat> then you're gonna go to the hen and um, retrieve her eggs because somehow she managed to lose them. They're all marked on the map, so if you miss them, it's kind of your own fault. Yeah, 
and then by this one by the gate we're just going to make a quick little quick little stop and open up the gate while we're here get that over with and then finish up getting the eggs remember to watch your stamina cuz you don't have unlimited supply Pick up this last one, they go talk to her again. And then from there, you go back to Otis. He's going to give you the bike key. And that is the second to last part of this guide. So we're almost done. So you hop on this real quick. Ah, I forgot to get off it. Okay, stop right here. And then you might as well save while you're here. Alright, and then you don't want to ride the bike. You want to take a nap here, real quick, so that it becomes nighttime. Then you hop back on your bike, and hopefully not steer into the trees. Then you go down here, and hop off here at Gopher Hill. Climb up all the way to the top, and hop on in. Maybe hop on in here. Maybe can't do this part yet. Okay, so don't go here. It's actually a waste of your time. So, I mean, that's basically it. It's basically all there is to this game is, you know, biking around the places. Now, technically, you could, you know, do more quests and unlock more parts of it. But, I mean, that's pretty boring. If you go to the barn at night, I think that's when you upgrade. That's when you unlock the gopher place. And then from there, you can buy more mini games for the barn. And, like, really, who wants to play the story when you can go down to the basement of the barn and play pool with Duke all night? That's pretty much as good as he gets in this game. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think if you go far enough into the dandelion pond, you can, like, find some cows there. And you can glitch them out for a bit of fun. But, other than that, there's not really much to the game other than the mini games. And even then, I'm pretty sure there's another cheat code to unlock all those. So, if you don't even want to play, you can just, from the title screen, unlock all the game mini games and play it from there. And that's going to be it.